Hi, it's Greg from The Century Box, and today I'm going to talk to you about the downfall of Pompeii. The game is set at the time when Mount Vesuvius erupts and consumes the city of Pompeii. And how the game works is it's essentially split into two halves. In the first half of the game, you're going to be drawing cards into your hand and then playing them to put your family members into the different locations around the city. And then at some point, the volcano is going to erupt and then we're going to move into the second half of the game where the players will take it in turns to move their family members and try and get them out of the different exits of the city and at the same time they'll be drawing lava tiles out of a bag and placing them onto the board to try and trap the other players family members and then you get to toss them into the volcano which is awesome. So once all the players have got all their family members out or they've all been consumed by the volcano you'll then check and see who got the most family members out and that player will be the winner. So the game is for two to four players. In my opinion, it's best with four just because you've got more other players involved and more family members to toss into the volcano. But it is also good with two or three players. Typical game takes about 45 minutes. Uh, I recommend it for anyone age eight and up. It is an easy to learn family game. There's a little bit of tactical play in, in which cards to play, where to put your family members, and which ones to move towards the exit. But overall, the gameplay is very simple. The replay value, I would say, is probably medium. In the first half of the game, the cards are obviously going to come out differently each time, and when the volcano erupts will be different. And then in the second half, you're going to be drawing tiles randomly out of the bag, so that will be different each time as well. So that was the downfall of Pompeii. Let us know what you think about the game and if you've got any games you'd like us to talk about in the future.